Hey guys, welcome to a new video. What you just saw was my new M4. Well, actually my old M4, but it has a new engine. An HPA engine, it's a Moncraft. It's a new type of engine, uh, one that I did not include in my previous video, so I wanted to address this. And also we have our first Polar Star in the group, which will be included in another video. And the tip man we have, that one got upgraded a lot. We're gonna do a special video about that gun too. And to top it off, we also put a Moncraft kit in one of you, his snipers. He will explain it because that's not my field of expertise. I do not know a lot about snipers. So yeah. But about the Moncraft. Moncraft is a Polish company and they make purely HPA engines. They make them for snipers, they make them for AEG bodies. And that's the main appeal to them, is because you can buy them with a V2 or V3 gearbox and just drop them in. I chose to buy them with the shell because it wasn't that much extra and I got a free gearbox shell, that's what I thought. You have to know that when you buy these they do not come with a trigger or a selector plate or a safety for that matter, you have to install those yourself. If you have a spare or your original gearbox, you can take the parts out and install them on the Moncraft. They usually are interchangeable. I'm gonna list the pros and the cons now and then finish out the video. Uh, the pros in my opinion are they're not that expensive. I paid 210 euros for mine. Uh, good luck finding an electric gearbox for that price from a good brand. Another big pro is that you don't need batteries anymore. It runs completely on your HPA tank, which is a pretty big deal for me because I've completely disregarded, completely thrown away batteries in my airsoft loadout. I don't like charging them and remembering to discharge them. I don't need that. Uh, now about the problems I have, and I only have two, which are personal, they might not be a problem for you. Uh, tell me in the comments, I would like to know. But here's the first one. It doesn't shoot full auto, you only have semi-automatic. Which makes it a DMR. But in Belgium, a few years ago, DMRs also were restricted to 350 FPS. But some event houses have lifted that to 450 FPS, which mine shoots, and it shoots with it great. And I always wanted to be the designated marksman of the squad, so wish fulfilled. The second problem is, is that it needs a lot of pressure to work. For it to be able to cycle and shoot properly, you'll have to put up the pressure so high that it will almost always shoot over 350 FPS which like I said with my first problem is not allowed in every country you can I guess change the air nozzle and the barrel and the hop up so it will shoot 350 FPS with that high pressure but that's kind of wasteful you're gonna empty your tank a lot faster it's what you want kind of a problem but that's about it so guys this is it I'm gonna end the video here hopefully you've learned something or you found it interesting yeah comment about the question and see you guys in another video